Hi everyone, um, in this tutorial we're going to be creating a Gmail calendar. Now for many of you, you may or may not have a Gmail account already. Um, and for those of you who are using accounts in another uh, email service, um, I mean just try to bear, bear with the tutorial. Um, the purpose of this is to sort of create a calendar system where we can put everyone's calendar calendars and overlap them onto one database sheet online and that would make it a lot easier uh, not only for the officers but for Elaine to help schedule um, specific dates when we can have our Sage Scholar for Scholar meetings or even just for events. Now we don't ask you to put any personal calendar information however we would like to you to put down at least at minimum your class schedules for fall um, for this particular demo. So I created an email address for this tutorial and again the registration process is very similar to what you've done before just click create an account and you'll be on your way to creating a Gmail account and just follow the registration steps. Once you've created an, a Gmail account um, you'll have a user interface that looks similar to this and if you already have one great um, just the same steps as you would normally take what we're interested in is the calendar feature in Gmail uh, and you want to click up here on calendar now in calendar you'll notice that you see this user interface here um, that looks obviously like a planner and you have the options just to show the day, the week, the month uh, etc. or even agenda okay now what we want to do in this tutorial is put down your fall schedule onto this um, online sheet here this user interface here and one way to do that is to figure out first of all what your schedule is in the fall easy thing to do is to go into your Tripoli e, uh, select fall 2009 change quarter and your schedule will appear so these are the courses I'll be taking in the fall now you might be thinking to yourself well I might change classes I might add one that's perfectly fine all we ask is that you update it on our Google on your Google Calendar so that it updates on the master list so we gotta figure out when does instruction start when's the first day of class so let's go here uh, this website is the UCI academic calendar it shows you the information of what's happening throughout every quarter in the year you can find the website here so you can pause the video now and, and find this link yourself if you'd like to so if you scroll down you'll find out that the quarter technically begins in September 21st so if we go to our Google Calendar we'll go to September 21st oh, which is this week September 21st is week 0 that falls in week 0 and um, that's technically instruction will start though on the 24th as shown here so the first day of class is actually on the 24th now for this example I'm going to take one of these classes for instance education 124 it's Monday Wednesday I mean sorry it's on Tuesday Thursdays from 1230 to 150 so I am going to click here on Thursday scroll down to 12:30 click edit event details type in education 124 is from 12:30 to 150 does it repeat yes the class repeats it's every Tuesday and Thursday that's really important so that way you don't have to create multiples of a class so if you have a class that's offered Tuesdays and Thursdays or Monday Wednesday Friday there's an option for that so when does it end? Click until. You're going to give it a final date. Now the last day of instruction as shown here is December 4th. That's the last day you'll have class. So we're going to change the calendar and you're going to click on December 4th. Now class, you don't have class on December 4th but it's telling Google that your last week is on December 4th. That last uh, stretch of the week. Where is the class? We can write that in as well. And you can put a description if you'd like to and then just click Save. Now I have my education classes listed. 
So this was week zero, this is week zero, this is week one, week two, week three, and so forth. Okay. So now we'll add one more class for one more example. Um, here's my engineering 190W class. I'll add that on the calendar. And same procedure. Now in this case, my class is on Monday and Wednesday, but I have no class week zero until Thursday. So I'm going to jump to the next week. And I'm going to click here. The class is at nine. starts at 9 a.m. I'm going to click here at 9. Edit event details. Type in engineering 190W. And it goes from 9 a.m. to 10.50. It does repeat. Now, this class is only on Monday and Wednesday. Not Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, this the, there is no default option for that, but you just need to click this option called Weekly. It'll let you format something um, more flexible. So, click on Monday and Wednesday. That will make sure it's Monday and Wednesday every week. And then click Until. And then, again, go to December 4th, which is the last day of instruction. Where's the class? ET201, and then put a description if you'd like to, and click Save. Now it's added my engineering class, my engineering writing course. And then it just continues on um, until 10th week. Now, that is essentially the simple process of adding courses into um, into Gmail, into the Gmail calendar. All we ask for you is to put every single one of your class schedules on this calendar. Don't add anything up here. Um, add it as a separate calendar, and, and I'll show you on the next tutorial why that is. So. Um, so that is the tutorial for adding classes. Hopefully that was pretty simple. If you have any questions, please send me an email, um, which will be on the uh, the video. So thank you.